Houston. Talking to us now is Dr. William Schaefer, Medical Director of the National Foundation for Infectious Diseases. Good morning, Dr. William Schaefer. Doctor, can you hear me? Doctor, I cannot hear you. Can you hear me? Hang on a sec. Hold on one second. We've got the wrong button pushed. Almost there. 720 here, Big 550 KTRS. Doctor, how about now? Can you hear me now? Doctor, I can hear you breathing. Hmm. Dr. Schaffner. Calling Dr. Schaffner, please. Dr. Schaffner, please come to the radio station. Dr. Schaffner, please come to the radio station. Hmm. Try now. All right. Hello. Do- doctor, Hello. there you go. I can hear you. Can you hear me? I hear, hear you fine. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. They had this World Health Organization held this emergency meeting on this Zika virus. We're, 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 we're only, what's been reported so far is that pregnant women in Latin American countries get it. But it's much more dangerous than that, is it not? Well, it's very widespread through Latin America and the Caribbean. It's transmitted by a mosquito, and there have been travelers from the Central American countries who've come to the United States who were infected. And so what we're concerned about is that this virus may be introduced into the United States, start to infect our own mosquitoes, and then they might transmit it here in this country. It might enter the country that way. So what you're saying is somebody travels to the Caribbean, gets bit by a a mosquito, you are then infected with that Zika virus, you come back home to Chicago, a mosquito bites you here, then that mosquito can then transmit it to other people. Exactly. With one modification, it takes a specific kind of mosquito, a specific species. It's mostly uh, prevalent down in the southeastern states. So it's not all over the country. Okay. Now, um, we, we, we've heard that if the mother is infected, it does damage to the pregnant uh, fetus. Does it affect humans who are not pregnant and or who might be pregnant? Well, most people who get the infection don't have any symptoms at all, and some people get a, relatively speaking, minor illness with fever, aches and pains, a rash, and red eyes. That goes away after about three to five days. However... There's another illness, and what we call an autoimmune neurologic paralytic illness called Guillain-Barre syndrome that can affect anybody. And so that also seems to be a consequence of this Zika infection. So it's a a double-barrel shotgun, really. Why are we hearing about this now? Because the Zika virus was a minor player in the South Pacific until it was introduced into this hemisphere. And because we have many of the species of mosquito that can transmit it, it's spread like wildfire throughout Central and South America. And Brazil has had this large epidemic of children born with a, with a defect called microcephaly, you know, small head, small brain, very, very tragic. And so it's come to everybody's serious attention. All right, doctor. So where do we go from here? Are there pills? Are there drugs? Or how do we, how do we fight this? We're working on a vaccine. <clears throat> Our public health system, run, uh, led by the CDC in Atlanta, is on the alert for introductions, and public health across the country would be prepared to respond. So stay alert. We're watching this very carefully, but we have a very strong public health system that can respond to this. How long does it last? How long is it in your system? Because, for instance, if a woman is bitten by one of these infected mosquitoes, and then if she becomes pregnant, um, say, two or three months later, is she still, is she out of the woods? She's out of the woods. That's not something we have to be concerned about. Uh, To be hazardous to the baby, to the fetus, the woman has to be pregnant at the time the infection takes place. Okay. Doctor, how worried about you? How worried are you that this becomes a bigger issue in a, a, a pandemic? Or I mean, how, how worried are you about this being a major, major issue? Well, we're very concerned uh, because we have the vector mosquito in the southeastern states, and we've had introductions of other mosquito-borne infections, dengue, and another fancy one called chikungunya, in in the past. We've been able to abort those, to stop them, and we must continue to remain alert against Zika. So for those of us in public health, 
this is a serious matter. It's right at the top of our radar at the moment. Dr. William uh, Schaefner, Medical Director of the National Foundation for Infectious Diseases. Doctor, thank you for your insights. Thank you. Good to be with you. 725 here, Big 550 KTRS. Johnny Londoff Chevrolet, that's where you want to go for all of your vehicles. I also had a chance to talk to uh, Johnny Londoff over the weekend, and I know his family was on their knees praying for uh, John Carney, and so all good news there. He's part of the family. He's part of the St. Louis fabric, Johnny Londoff, and the entire family is. But let's talk cars, because if you're looking for a pre-owned vehicle, if you're looking for a new car, none better than Johnny Londoff Chevrolet. Whether it's the 2016 Cruze, the Silver.